Alright guys, this guy, uh, he's got been going mega viral, his name's Future Canoe. Almost a million subscribers already, guys. That is pretty wild, pretty wild, for sure. When he's, his channel is growing so much, guys, and I'll just show you what he does. Right, so this is Korean fried chicken versus American fried chicken. Let's see if there's truly the best version. <laughs> Before we start, I'm just gonna say probably Korean because it's got the sauce, but let's make it to find out. We got two avenues here. Oh, man, it's gonna be soggy with the sauce, bro. Unless it was uh, buffalo wings, because I don't like it bone in. But, but I could eat, I don't know, guys. That, that, the American fried chicken also looks very well, well, very well cooked, though. So we're gonna exp and you could just dip it in sauce, but I don't know, Korean. Explore both at the same time. Attempting to experience both at the same time may <laughs> cause you a lot of problems in your relationship. But when it comes to fried chicken, it always achieves its intended pleasurable result. Luckily, I have two bags of radioactive chicken thighs to explore. And as I'm opening these bags, I think I noticed the droplet of chicken juice fall into my coffee. As a master of sanitation, I got a little freaked out, so I have to take a sip to calm myself down before inspecting the clip. Oh, you got lucky, bro. You got lucky. I just barely missed the cup. But yeah, this guy's. Last time I checked, he had like 100k subs. Now he has 600k, guys. This guy is uh, making a killing, right? So bro. we're all safe. Yeah, yeah. Let's begin with our Korean fried chicken, also called Yangyum Chicken. How's my pronunciation? That's a pretty nice job, team. As he said, we're gonna start with a Korean one, AK. So if you don't know already, he just like you know copies rep recipes of bigger, uh, of like you know. YouTubers and stuff, but he, he makes it funny. Hey, so yum, yum, we'll keep chicken. watching. Start with two pounds or 900 grams of chicken pieces. You can go with wings, drumsticks, thighs, or a nice mix. Starting off with about two pounds of radioactive thighs. Bro, those look disgusting, bro. Jo Joshua's looks so much better, to bro. That you'll add one tablespoon or 17 grams of grated ginger. About two small knobs of grated ginger. One teaspoon or half. <laughs> a fine ground black pepper. A mysterious amount of ground black pepper. Generous salt. Looks like he's putting eggs on the top of that, man. To taste. Grab some salt to taste, and then grab some more to season. Before I mas <laughs> massage him in, let's get the other bowl ready before he gets jealous. Now for the buttermilk fried chicken, you're gonna- oh, snap. The buttermilk. He called it buttermilk. He didn't even call it fried. That's how you know it's bougie. For the same exact amount of chicken added to a buttermilk marinade consisting of two cups of buttermilk. So buttermilk is basically milk with its lactose turned into lactic acid through fermentation. And like any other acid, it has the ability to denature. Oh, he's got it from Trader Joe's. Okay, that's a good thing. Good sign, good sign. Protein, side. making meat more tender. One and a half teaspoons or eight grams of optional. MSG. Two teaspoons. <laughs> What the Three heck? Spoons of mandatory MSG. One. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do like the guy's voice, man. It's chill ASMR kind of voice. Or nine grams of ground white pepper. One tablespoon or nine grams of white people pepper. One tablespoon. What the heck? <laughs> twelve grams of garlic powder. One tablespoon or twelve spanks of garlic powder. One tablespoon or nine grams of smoked paprika. Bro, you gotta make the sauce as well. But it does come out good if you make Two it. Two teaspoons or six grams of smoked paprika. Put together to combine in. Guys, where you live, does your family make the sauce or do they just like buy the pre-made sauce? Me personally, my family really never ever made sauce at all. Now we'll put on gloves and massage all the thighs at the same time till everything is homogeneous. Massaging them, bro. Sit at room temp for five minutes or in the fridge covered overnight. Sit at room temp for five minutes or cover in the fridge overnight. They got this down to a science, bro. The Joshua guy, he's got like 10 million subs, so he knows what he's right, doing. These are some drastically different options, so I'm gonna do a combination of both of them. Uncovered in room temp overnight. Now let's take a look at the two, what the two heck? different kinds of dr Both of them? Bridge. For the Korean fried chicken, it's a No, man, don't be doing that. He said uncovered at root. No, no, that there, there, there's safety concerns when Only one cup. Or I think he's trolling. Guys. 65 grams of cornstarch for the Korean fried chicken. We're going to start with <coughs> one cup of cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, that cornstarch when he opened it, it looks like it went in his lungs. Half a gram of baking soda about a key bump of baking soda. Let's get together. And that's it. I really should have done in another bowl, but we'll take care of it later now for the southern style. 
Gosh, bro. Gosh, it's got it so much more better, man. Like, it, it just uh, the presentation, right? There's Good. a lot more ingredients. It'll be two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. He's got the, like, the little background music and stuff, which I should put in my YouTube shorts and stuff, but uh, you know how a fan of his lazy. Right. Two teaspoons or two grams of dried thyme. Two teaspoons of still wet thyme. One tablespoon or 12 grams of garlic powder. The rest of all my garlic powder. One teaspoon or three grams of onion powder. A big shake of onion powder. Oh, I thought this was something else. He said, uh, he, he means onion, two guys. Two teaspoons or five grams of celery powder, which phonetically sounds terrible. Uh, phonetically what? Man, this guy, this guy is coming up with uh, some of the best vocabulary. Like I don't, I don't use vocabulary words like that, guys. As well as visually looks invisible. Two tablespoons or eighteen grams of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons or ten grams of MSG. <laughs> I feel like whispering it won't change some people's opinion towards it. So two tablespoons. MSG. Give that a whisk, and that is your. It it's uh he whispered for uh i don't know why guys it's just joshua's editing or style dredge. he's got a little bit of comedy a ligma whisk and that's my dread but this one seems much more flavorful than the korean one see the flavor for the see that's why we voted for the american one guys the fried chicken will be added after cooking with a sauce half a cup or 160 grams of gochujang 100 guys what sauce is that is it spicy or I've never tried Korean fried chicken. 60 grams of gochujang, or as Americans call it, the red stuff from Korea. Six tables. <laughs> 104 grams of ketchup. 104 grams ketchup. of ketchup, or as... Wait, wait, don't... Don't... Me oh my gosh, you saw how, how we did that? No, don't do it that way, bro. Koreans call it the red stuff from America. A quarter cup or 50 grams of soy sauce. 50 grams of soy sauce. Five tablespoons or 160 grams of brown rice vinegar. 160 grams of normal rice vinegar. A quarter cup or 60 grams of mirin. I don't have mirin, so I'm gonna add whatever cooking wine I have and put in sugar later. Six tablespoons. Who's that? Cooking wine, guys? What? 46 grams of palm sugar or light brown sugar. I never, never got the appeal of adding like liquor or wine to your meals, guys. I want to be a true culinarian. Fifty-five <laughs> grams of light brown sugar, and I guess I'll never truly kill an alien. Add it to a pot, whisk till homogenous, and heat it over medium brown sugar, like he was making cookies. Just until it begins to simmer, and let that brother reduce for only one minute. So we'll whisk everything to homogenous like this. And then we'll put it on the stove and reduce for a minute. Immediately cut off the heat and mix in eight cloves of finely chopped garlic. Wait, eight cloves? Yes, eight cloves. All the quirky quotes of, oh, two cloves of garlic isn't enough. <laughs> Is this enough for you, Karen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Gosh, that was pretty funny. Not about Karen, but that's more than enough for me. My house is out of garlic, but I found these elephant garlic that's turning green. So pretty much the phenomenon that happens to all my ingredients when they enter my. Uh, bro, don't be doing that. Hopefully, he threw it out, man. Not cool. Uh, uh, if it's turning green, it's turning into a plant or something, right, guys? Sauce is done simmering. It's smooth and beautiful. Oh my gosh, he added it. No, man. Don't be doing that. Don't. Well, we'll add in our garlic to make it a little more mysterious. Okay, the time to fry has come. So, mystery. He's making a mystery. This is a recipe for mystery meat at this unlike point. Unlike anybody who's unlucky enough to spend the night here, time to fry has come. For the Korean fried chicken, gently toss in the cornstarch mix and aggressively press the dredge into every nook and cranny till the wet spots are dry. Oh, I don't need to emphasize on my hand's ability to completely dry up anything that comes its way. Shake off the excess and place into fry oil that's been preheated to 325 Fahrenheit. And you'll probably want to do this in two to three batches, by the way. Before we move on to the stove, I'm just going to dredge the sauce southern one now so we don't need to go back and forth later joshua's famous for his siri but damn right better. maybe i should come chicken mcnuggets okay okay with my own siri called but lazier where a compromise quality for, for convenience let me hey i'm sure it'll be hard to get all these ingredients before even trying this recipe we gotta know the ratio of people that try the recipe before uh from watching joshua's video let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, the Southern American style chicken is a little simpler. Remove from your marinade, toss in your seasoned dredge, and again, press that dredge aggressively into the chicken so it's. Oh man, don't be aggressive with it. It might, might not be the best if it's done aggressively, guys. Completely coated. Remove the chicken from the buttermilk marinade, aggressively press the flour into the chicken so it's completely coated. And then we'll repeat it to the other piece. <laughs> 
Okay, actually, that looks like it works that Just way. And get ready to move on to the stove. Shake off the excess and place into fry oil that's been preheated to 325 Fahrenheit. He did, he did drumsticks. Josh, this guy's doing thighs, man. Right, and you'll probably want to do this in two to three batches, by the way. I'm going to heat up my oil to 350 first, because after I put in the chicken, it's going to drop to 325. Let that bad boy fry for about five. <laughs> good, good idea, good five idea. Minutes, or till cooked through and light golden, immediately remove and drain on a wire rack. Once the oil reaches temperature, we'll drop in our Korean ones first, and make sure you lay away from you. You guys might remember the last. It, it, that's fresh oil. That's all I gotta say. Last time I made Korean fried chicken, I was traumatized. Oh God, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> oh my no. gosh, gone wrong. Literally gone wrong. You know what? Uh, I, I'm just gonna let this happen. Crazy to see. Like, in, in February is when I found his channel, guys, and he had so many less subs, bro. Hopefully, my channel blows up like his is doing guys but this time the frying experience is much better thanks to my brand new dutch oven i actually received it as a gift from mr minsu kim thank you very much so after the chick all right getting gifts as well bro that's a life that's a life it takes on this light golden color we can take it out and this is the secret here increase your oil temperature to 375 fahrenheit and place your chicken back into the fryer for one to two minutes or until a beautiful golden brown after the first fry there might be some juice runoff to make the exterior soggy so we gotta increase the temperature and crispify it one last time as I've never tried this double frying thing, but I I totally forgot I should to take on the sauce better. And we want to fry it till it's golden brown like this. And just like me after a shower, it's ready to get glazed. But before that <laughs> happens, let's just finish frying the southern style chicken first. Gently lay that chicken 350 Fahrenheit and fry for five to seven minutes or until you have a deep golden brown flaky crisp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. again? Wait, did you... He just triple dip it? I've never seen that before. Milk fried chicken. Seems easy enough. All we have to do is drop in our chicken and wait for about 7 to 8 minutes. Until the outside looks golden brown, flaky, and crispy like this. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think this is the best looking fried chicken I've ever made on this channel. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Joshua got the recipes, man. As you can see from the smile on my face, I'm very excited to taste which one did you try? The, the one that's more fried or the one that's less fried? Let me know in the comments below. These fried chicken. Before we toss the Korean one in the sauce, let's give the southern one a sound check. It looks like some uh, bread was added to the chicken and it's attached to the chicken and it sounds crispy. It sounded pretty good. We'll put them aside for now and then finish off the Korean one. Now pop that into a bowl. Toss it with as much or as little sauce as you want and make sure that that... May or may not look a little burnt, but hey, it's every square. It does taste good that way, in my opinion. Your microscopic inch of this chicken. So we'll put a decent amount of sauce on our chicken. The sauce is really thick, so we're gonna have to toss it a lot to get it coated evenly. It didn't take that long. And finally, uh, just in case you don't think, looks like barbecue chicken. It does. Doesn't even look like it's fried to me, you guys. It's Asian enough. We'll put some more sesame seed and scallion on top. It smells so aromatic in my house right now. I feel like the neighbors are about to break in. Yes, the cream. <laughs> that one may be sauced, and the southern one is not. Is that going to make a difference? My gut, in a weird way, says no. But I think an even better judge of that would be my tongue. My tongue may be inexperienced in many aspects of life, but it sure went through a lot of fried chicken over the years. But before I Fried chicken, because fried chicken is for the win, is one, probably one of my favorite foods, if not my most favorite food, guys. Give them a taste test. I wonder which one would you guys pick on Instagram? You know, <laughs> oh, I knew I was gonna get roasted. Well, I'm pretty happy knowing that I'm about to eat them. All right, let's start with the southern one and give it a second round of sound check. Again, bro. Again, that's overkill, bro. Perfect. Now we'll taste it and rate it one through ten. All right, he's doing the taste test. Sorry, I was just having a meal in between recording. <laughs> that was pretty insane. Let's taste the Korean one. Don't drop it, bro. And rate them together. I think it usually drops it in his videos. From one through ten. 
All right, all right. Baby. I was worried <laughs> that it was not gonna be crispy, but I guess unlike my sister. Wait, is it, are these boneless the guys? Cornstarch held its integrity for a long time. After tasting both of them, I realized I actually prefer the American Southern one. The there we go, there we go. That's what we predicted. Let's go, fam. Buttermilk perfectly seasoned the entire chicken and every bite is flavorful. By the way, that's a blood vessel, not a worm. But it does achieve the- Gross. That's why I don't like bone bone in chicken, guys. Some weird stuff like blood vessels being you you be eating, guys. Gross. The same effect of taking away all my appetite. And the flour-based breading is more crunchy and offers a- yeah, don't like don't like bone in, man. Unique bready flavor. I also like the hint of sourness Amber. in the chicken from the buttermilk. I hope. On the other hand, the Korean one is just as flavorful and crunchy. The spiciness from the sauce adds a good. It looks a little bit more soggy though. Not gonna lie. Kick. And the fermented gochujang gives it a lot of depth and complexity. However, the amount of sugar in the sauce is turning me off a lot. I don't really associate fried chicken with sweetness and i know that a lot of korean dishes need that sweetness to counteract the spiciness but personally i just prefer not having chicken with sugar plus who doesn't love a salty <laughs> surprise in their mouth but anyways josh i i, I like it with like a sugary uh like buffalo Trust wings recipes are always bonus wings whatever they're called and i think my execution today is all right i'll give the southern one a 9 out of 10 and the korean one a 7.5 out of 10 all right sorry korean one thank you I wouldn't try the Korean one. Uh, I wouldn't. Alright guys, that's Future Canoe. A but lazier series unironically un good, extremely good content. Please do it. I mean, that's what his videos kind of already are though, guys. Love how your pizza measurements, despite he's clearly eyeballing everything. <laughs> Covered at room temperature overnight. Made me laugh more than it should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out Featured Canoe in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. So if you want to come through, say come, say hi. You're more than welcome, guys. Thank you for over 4,000 subscribers. We'll do something special at 5,000, guys. Thank you.